Hey guys, how's it going? It's Calvin Raub, and a special welcome to all my engineering majors or maybe future engineering majors. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the top 10 highest paying engineering degrees. Now, I know there's a whole bunch of engineering degrees that are out there. Some of them are quite specific, but in this video, I try to stick to the most general ones. So the big engineering majors that when you think of engineering, this is probably what you think of, because I wanted this video to apply to the most amount of people possible and if you go to any engineering school especially at an undergrad level these majors will likely be there for you so this is the top 10 as far as jobs go I highly encourage you to watch it all the way through not just go to number one because this is from lowest paying to highest paying but I recommend sticking around because you want to see you know money's not the most important thing and you want to see if maybe there's another major in there that kind of piques your interests so without any further ado let's get into it let's jump into number 10 of the top 10 highest paying engineering degrees and if you're new here my name is calvin rab i make videos all about economics and the job market so if you're interested in anything like that i would love it if you would subscribe Number 10 is environmental engineering, coming in at an average base salary of $68,566. So environmental engineering, what this is, is kind of the combination of machines and technology with the environment. So there's plenty of different things that you're gonna be doing in this field. You're gonna do a lot of studying of a lot of maybe small sector things as far as in your local area, different machines that you can create to help the environment but you'll also be looking at things from a very much so large scale and starting to come up with different machines or just technological advances that can help things like climate change or unsafe drinking water and there's so many different environmental issues that are out there from country to country really to city to city everyone has their own unique type of environmental issue and your job is to take what you learn in engineering in order to create different machines and different technologies that can help really the planet at large but also these small cities and small sectors you may be working in the public sector for maybe the government and it can also be private you know everyone has and is affected by the environment in different ways Coming at number nine, and this is one of, if not the most popular one, and that is mechanical engineering, coming in with a salary of just under $71,000. Now, it's very hard to pin down what mechanical engineering is because it is very general. You know, you could just say, oh, it's the studying of how to not only create, but also operate machinery. And there's so many different things that you can do with this major, so many different fields. You are by no means tied down to one industry. You know, you can be working on different different things. You, you could work on aircrafts, you could work on small things like refrigerators or microwaves, or you're going to be working on different engines and different things like that. There is so much that you can do with this major. And because of that, it was very, very hard to find an average salary. This is this salary of just under 71,000 is taken into consideration everyone. Obviously, there are going to be a lot of very high paying jobs. So out of all the jobs that I had, the spread on this was the most. So if you are interested in this major, I would think about you know what field do you want to go into and then get a salary from there because this one probably has the widest range of pay altogether. Coming in at number eight, making just under $72,000 is going to be chemical engineering. And chemical engineering is interesting. It's fusing together a lot of different types of sciences. So it's fusing together the natural sciences. This will be things like chem and physics with the life sciences. So this would be like biology and different things like that. And as a general overview of what you're going to be studying here is you're going to be studying how to make how to take raw materials and make them useful. You'll be creating there a lot of different products and working with machines that deal with chemicals. So this could be different things like drugs or really anything that involves chemicals, you know, from the medical side of things to any other engineering machine-like substance, whether it be, you know, gas or oil or different things like that. Chemical engineers are needed in all that. Whenever there are chemicals involved with machinery, you're going to need a chemical engineer. 
Coming to number seven is civil engineering, and civil engineering will have an average base salary of just over $76,000 per year. So when I think of civil engineering, my mind automatically goes to infrastructure. And what you're gonna be doing a lot in civil engineering is you're gonna be dealing a lot with infrastructure. So this could be things like roads or different transportation types, whether it be railways, you may also be working on airports and dams and anything that has to do with infrastructure. And there is more, you know, you're also going to work on things like shelter and different things like that. But infrastructure is where my mind automatically goes when I think of civil engineering. So if you're interested in that as all at all, this may be something that you might want to consider. And it is high paying at the same time. Coming in at number six is nuclear engineering with a salary of just over $77,000. So nuclear engineering, as you can probably imagine, is gonna deal with all things nuclear power. So you'll be studying and focusing on and eventually going into the job market with things, or just specifically focus on things like nuclear radi radiation, uh, different fuel cycles, and everything that is revolved around it, from the waste products that are created, the whole cycle altogether, and everything pertaining to nuclear power. So your whole job day to day is going to be about how do you make nuclear energy, you know, more efficient, more usable, and just more helpful to the world at large. That is going to be your general focus in nuclear engineering. Coming in at number five is electrical engineering with an average base salary of just under $78,000. So electrical engineering, as the name suggests, you are gonna be dealing mostly with coming up with and creating different electrical systems. And you're gonna be dealing a lot with math and physics and knowledge of electricity in order to transmit and process energy is gonna be your main focus at a very general holistic level. Coming in at number four is aerospace engineering with an average base salary of over $79,000. So aerospace engineering, as is also in the name, is going to be deal with all things kind of flight related. And this isn't just necessarily, oh, commercial aircrafts. No, there's so much more than that. Yes, you'll be dealing with planes, but you also be dealing with spacecrafts. If you go into that field, you may be dealing with different types of weapons. And there's, there's so much here with aerospace engineering much more than just the standard plane that you may think about when you think of like a oh, commercial aircraft or anything like that so there's a lot here my roommate actually used to be an aerospace engineer so I always enjoy talking to him about that but that may be something that you may want to look into if you are passionate about this field at all Coming in at number three is just general engineering, or you can think of this as just a bachelor's degree in engineering. And much like mechanical engineering, as you can probably expect, this too is very, very general. So here you would just be learning about all things engineering from the creation side of things to designing different machines, to maintaining it, operating on different protocols, different ethical standards and different things like that, and just all things engineering. Now, you Usually when it comes to general engineering, at least what I've seen from a bachelor's perspective is, okay, yes, you have your bachelor's degree of engineering, but you would usually then focus on a lot of the different subsets of engineering, you know, the electrical engineering, nuclear engineering, power engineering, a lot of the other things that we have talked about. So that's how you would then focus down. But as far as general engineering, that's what this one is altogether. And there's a whole slew of different jobs that you can get with this, all engineering related in a whole bunch of different fields. So this one, much like mechanical engineering, does have that large spread on salary. So you're going to want to look at more specifically the field that you may be interested in going to. Number two is software engineering, making just over $92,000. So software engineering is pretty interesting. It's the combination of computer science and engineering. So in any job, you'll likely have a lot of computer science majors along with more engineering, software engineering majors. So what you'll be doing here is just using your engineering knowledge and computer science knowledge as well in order to create just helpful software programs. You know, maybe you're creating games or or just different um, structure, software structures that would help, whether it be a private or public company, and there's so much here. It's also very much so client-based focused. You know, you are gonna be creating whatever is in demand. So if a company wants a specific structure built um, or a specific software in order to help their company, that's when you and oftentimes computer science majors would step in as well and create that. So you are, 
just working a lot with clients. You may have to speak a lot with clients to see what they want and see where they're going with things. And it's an interesting job, one that combines a lot of different majors. There will be a lot of business kind of people involved with this as well because obviously you're going to be working from a client perspective and business majors will be involved in that process as well. So if this is something that you're interested in, then it is very high paying, so it may be something you want to look into. Coming in at number one, and I would also stick around till right after this because I have a bonus one that actually also pays more, but I'll also talk about why I couldn't put it on this list as well. But back to your regular scheduled program, number one is petroleum engineering, and it's gonna be making about $104,000 base average salary. So petroleum engineering is gonna be about all things, as you can imagine, petroleum, oil, gas, and different things like that. So you'll take the general engineering courses that anyone else would but then in order to learn more about the petroleum engineering side of things you're gonna learn about different rock formations and fluid flowing and just there's a whole lot here different oil and gas whether it be the rules and regulations around it or proper extraction techniques and basically day-to-day -day what you'll be doing as a petroleum engineer is coming up with creating and also actually making the actionable steps of extracting oil and gas from the earth so that is what you'll be focused around and that is something that is in very high demand and many businesses and kind of the world at large relies on oil and gas at the time being and as you can see that's why it is very high paying it is quite difficult and that there is a lot you have to learn but because of that there is a very high salary at the end of it as well so if this is something that you are at all interested in maybe you want to look into it a little bit further because it does have a very high salary and remember, all these salaries that I mentioned were without any benefits or just extra payments that you may get within the job. And this is just the average base salary. So depending where you're working as well, it may pay a lot more. A lot of these jobs that I talked about was the national average. However, here in Los Angeles, most of these jobs were all over $100,000. So it really depends where you are, the kind of state you're in, the city you're in, and there's a lot of different things to consider. So if you are interested in seeing how much these jobs are specifically for you, then I would look at it wherever you are or hope to work. So as I kind of teased you with that number one, there is a bonus that does pay more, and that is engineering manager with a bachelor's degree. Because most of these I did want to specifically go to bachelor's degree. You know, I didn't go into furthering your degree like an MBA or anything like that. But as far as why it didn't make the list was because there are engineering management degrees. However, when I was looking at the salary, the only job that I could find was for engineering management. And I know there's a lot more jobs that you could get, but I could couldn't get any concise number that I actually trusted as far as an average salary. So that for that reason, I, I didn't put it on this list because I wanted this list to be as true as possible. However, I did take the job for engineering manager. And a lot of engineering managers do have further degrees, whether it be in engineering or even in business, uh, like an MBA or something like that. But a lot of them do just have the simple bachelor's degree, you know, maybe an engineering management degree. And and this degree is going to be paying about $132,000 to $140,000. And that's just for bachelors. As you get higher degrees, that average actually moves up and up. So this is kind of the base, I don't want to say like bottom, but kind of the base side of things with a bachelor's degree. So what you're going to be doing here, and you can kind of see when I talk about it, why it pays so much is you're going to be charge of an entire kind of project as a whole. And you're gonna play both roles from the management side of things to the engineering side. Because when it comes to all engineers working on a specific project, of course you need engineers, but you also need some type of management. And oftentimes there is some business person in charge, but what can lead to issues is oftentimes business people may not know the technical aspects. That's when engineering management comes into play because you know both worlds. You understand the technical aspect, you know what the engineers are doing, but you will also be taking engineering classes to deal with the 
project. So in a degree that like engineering management, you are gonna be taking all the engineering courses, but on top of that, you're gonna be taking a lot of management courses and uh, different things focusing on critical thinking, problem solving, and different things like that. So you can have both hats, the technical hat and also the management business side hat. And you will be in charge of a lot of engineers. And from that, you can really see that this is a pretty, not only tough job, but you have to know a lot about both sides. And you're just gonna have to use a lot of critical thinking because as we know, a lot of the plans that go into engineering don't always come out exactly what goes in. So you're gonna have to deal with the different speed bumps along the way. So as you can see, it is pretty high paying. All right, so that will wrap it up. Those are the 10 highest paying engineering degrees with a nice little bonus there at the end. So thank you for sticking around. Nice, you got the bonus, so congrats. But all in all, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something from it. And let me know in the comments below if you have any other majors maybe on your mind that you're like, hey, you missed this one. This one pays a whole bunch as well. Just let me know down there because there are a lot that I didn't speak on because I didn't find it at enough schools, meaning there weren't enough schools that had this major. Remember, as I talked about in the beginning, I wanted it to be a popular major at all engineering schools, specifically tied to undergrad. So just let me know down there, or if you have a different idea when it comes to uh, pay and maybe I'm off. This is just what my research showed me and it does change from city to city. So let me know any other recommendations or different majors that I may have missed and I just look forward to talking to you guys down there because this is a very, very important topic. But that will be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you would hit a like and share it with someone else that you may think would find it useful as well. And if it does get a lot of likes then I'll know that you guys are interested in this kind of thing and I'll make more content like that. The likes and different feedback that I get in the comments is what drives the video that I make next. So thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And as always, my name is Calvin Rabb and I'll see you soon. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. So I'm going to move to the corner of your screen here. If you look in the upper left hand corner, you are going to see my most recent video. And if you look in the lower left hand corner, you're going to see a video that YouTube and I each think that you would like. And if you haven't yet, you can hit my face right here and subscribe. As always, my name is Calvin Rabb and I'll see you soon.